Mr. Butters. Good day, everybody. Mr. Butters is doing well, being hungry as usual. Being a cute little self. Mr. Tommy was out there. The squirrel was up at the tree watching Tommy. So many activities going on. So many activities. Now he's like, more food for me, please. Right? Ah, look away, he's closer. Ew, and he farted. He was stinky. Ooh. He comes up and farts and leaves. That's my boy. Aww, poor guy. I'll come sit with you, okay? Just let me change my pants into Tommy pants. I am sorry, Butters. I will give you food before I go sit out there with him for a little bit, okay? Yeah, I have special, my one blue pants I wear. I call them my Tommy pants because they're covered in his fur. So I'm not contaminating my unusual walking around the house pants to beanie. I let him in if I didn't have to worry about him, you know, hurting the bean or giving him anything. God knows if he could have anything. Oh. <laughs> You can't come in here, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't come in here. Stop, Dad. Let's, I'm gonna sit on a pizza box. This place is covered in bird crap. Hi there, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at you. Wow. I'm not, I'm not falling for that. No, I'm not falling for that at all. Oh my gosh. You're hard up for attention, aren't you? She whiz, sir. Oh my god. See that little... Ah, I can put my wrist bush. Oh, I got hit in the face with the tail. No, well, that's creepy. That's my old gnome that got buried. Hit me in the face with your tail. Oh gosh. Nice day out here. It's just nice and cool. Hmm, it's nice and cool. Oh my goodness, look at this boy. Now he's just chilling with his butt against me. <laughs> I think he's pleased. He just wanted some company. Hmm, back in. Tommy had enough with me. He walked, he did the cat thing, it, thing. He used me and he left me. Kinda. He started to eat grass, so I think he was hungry, so I came in and got him some kibble and let him eat some kibble to his fill. Now he's just hanging under the bush. And I left a little bit of kibble out left for him. The squirrel will probably come by and be like, mmm. <laughs> Sorry, for just sitting out there for a little bit, Beanie. But he was really upset. He really wanted it. He really wanted some love, so I gave him about 15 minutes of company and seemed to be satisfied with that. I said I'd love to bring him in here, but can't with the beanie. 
He'd rough you up. But I'm pretty sure he gets treats from other neighbors, too, because I know that people down the way have a cat, too. And I've seen Tommy over there with them, so I'm pretty sure he gets treats from them, too. And another neighbors have noticed him. So I'm sure he gets treats from multiple houses. Which is why he's gotten a little extra chubby since moving here. It's not just me. But that's a cat. They go house to house. They have multiple families. <laughs> they use humans. I'll put some seed out for the birds. Yeah, Mr. Bean's been doing good today. Me, I had like a yucky tummy today and yesterday. I think that was all, probably all a result from being stressed out about him, about the dryer, about other things. Stress all around. I'm pretty sure that and lack of being very, very, very dehydrated. I probably did a number on my stomach. Then I get anxious about my stomach pain. And the stomach pain probably was caused by the anxiety. And I get anxiety about the stomach pain. And turn turns to more stomach pain. And it's a vicious, vicious cycle. <laughs> I tell you, it's annoying. I hate it. It's like, shut off my brain, please. Look at that fur. The fur is just coming off of him. It's time for summer. You gotta get naked, right? All right. <laughs> what? Go. What about my tail? No, you're just being too sweet, aren't you? Okay, you're gonna have some more food. Get this, we got a robin pair. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna run up. You're gonna run after the cardinal. Don't be mean. Mmm. Tried fruit. Uh oh, he just went after a, a Jay. 